What's up, pups? I hope you're doing absolutely amazing wherever you are in the world right now. My name is Saint Wolf, and welcome. I have amazing news for you today. It's about Hex. It's really cool. I'm going to show you why you don't want to take your eyes off her. She might do something that might shock you. In the meantime, give this video a like and subscribe and comment down below. Let's get into it. I'll show you this video really quick. This is by Daddy Wick. Check it out. Major is the United States. Yeah, like hex.com is amazing. Pulsechain.com is amazing. Now we've got the best financial application. We're going to have the best network. And then what's next? You know? So we could give you hundreds of clips like that. <laughs> That's right. You heard it, man. All right. So what's going on? Well, let me give you, let me give you a few reasons. Okay. I want to show you, let me show you a couple metrics. Maybe you missed. Okay. Really quick. All right. We know what Hex is. Okay. Everybody knows. Okay. First of all, here's where we're at right now. Okay. We got steak days. This is on a website called Elastic uh, Hex Vision. Okay. Now today is May 6th, 2024 on May 7th. 2024, you have a massive stake expiring, possibly one of the biggest ones we've, we've ever seen. Okay. 5.52 billion hex. Now what's really cool is no matter what happens here, it's good. Okay. If this person restakes, it's good. If this person dumps, it's good because after that, we're looking very, very beautiful. Let me show you why, okay? Whichever one he does, A or B, if he restakes or if he sells, right? Because, let me show you this, this first, okay? So this is adoption since launch, okay? And I want you to know something. We've been through absolute <laughs> debauchery, okay? It's just been, it's just been tears. It's been a trail of tears. But you know what's interesting about this trail of tears? The adoption never went down. Okay. So let's go back. Let's just show you where, where things let's go to day thousand. Okay. You can see the hex total holders were 495,000. Okay. And then if you go another year after that, so that'd be right here, it's 50, 580,000. So you're up almost a hundred thousand, right? Almost. Okay. And then if you come here, another hundred days out from there, you're even higher, 586,000. So the total hex holders are going up and you know, what's even crazier. I thought, okay, no one's staking anymore. No, 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 no. If you do the same thing, let's just go back to day 1000. Okay. If you go back to day 1000, what do you see? What do you see? Okay, 134,000 stakers. Total stakers, 107,000. Now let's go a year after that. One year later, 159,000 and 120,000 um, current. And guess what? The total stakers is going up. It looks like some people have, when their stake ended, they sold on the current stakers, but the total stakers went up and the total holders, okay, has also, is also going up. So people are buying hacks. Of course, that's what smart money's doing. Okay. Strong hands are buying right now. Okay. But the rest of everybody was dumping, selling, running away, crying under their bed, but strong hands, whales, smart money, future millionaires are buying. All right. This is amazing. And you guys have to understand that when ETH, if you look at this, you're like, well, ETH has been going up. Sure. But ETH was launching projects nonstop. Okay. So you have to understand we've gone into this limbo for a bit because there was a layer one that came out and then an SEC lawsuit, and then we're in a damper. So what do you think is going to happen when the heart man starts tweeting again, when he becomes very active and promoting 
and Hex is his first project and Pulse Chain is rocketing up and we're now 5X sack price, okay, which is nothing. Where do you think this price is gonna be? What do you think's gonna happen here? See what happened here at the beginning? See this? I think you're gonna see another one of those. Okay, you're gonna see all of a sudden slam and it's gonna slam up and I wouldn't be surprised if it caught up right up to this ETH holder wave because things move in, in fives, right? So I've noticed this in all things, whether you're doing statistics or whether you're doing population variances or, or stock markets or whatever. And the third wave is the, the largest wave. So you might think this was one, two, three is the biggest wave. And just looking at this, it makes a lot of sense. The activity, this could dramatically shoot right up to here. And then we go sideways again for a long time. And then the fifth wave is usually a smaller wave. Okay. So the next wave up for Hex is going to be massive adoption, massive adoption. Okay. Now we'll come back to this. This is, a, I want to show you one last thing. Okay. And I think this, this shows it very well. Now you see, this is the ROI from launch, by the way, this and the last one were from look into Hex, which is Gerardo. I think he did Mintra. So he's been around for a long time. So this shows you BTC and ETH. ETH is in green. So we saw uh, ETH over here and you see what ETH is doing price-wise, okay? And you can see Hex outperformed ETH and BTC. So it outperformed in the bull by a substantial amount. Uh, Hex is in the pink, okay? And the, the shares are in the white, so they're similar. And they outperformed. And also coming into our first bear market, we underperformed. So well, it made sense. We pumped so hard, so we dumped an equal amount as hard. But what's interesting here, that the pattern that I see forming is that these have these steady, these steady uptrends, okay? Do you know what I'm saying? So, so we've got this one wave, our second wave. What do you think our third wave is gonna look like? Guys, if it outperformed here, I think it's just gonna shoot and blast right through here and we're gonna end up somewhere up around here, okay? Now, I don't know how much longer we go sideways. If we have another small leg down, maybe we do a double bottom. Maybe we just go sideways. But when this goes, and it's gonna go together with Pulse Chain and the Heartman becoming active again, this is going to blast off. Because once again, we we outperform, <laughs> we outperform to the upside and the downside, okay? And the volatility, you're gonna have to make it your friend. Because if you're smart, you know what to do now. If you're not so smart, well, you're gonna feel the pain pretty soon because this is going to, once again, outperform. That's what Hex is gonna do when it leaves the gate again. And uh, you guys know the charts, you can check them out. I hope these gave you some insights as to what's going on. Definitely give this video a like and subscribe and put a comment down below so we can, if you have any questions, anything else you wanna see. But I think this tells a story and you know what to do. We'll talk to you later. See ya.